So boy, um, I'm staying in the hostel and there was a girl that came in from Australia last night and her and this German girl were talking and they were talking about their travels in America. First off, I was like waiting for them to say something bad about America and um, they started talking about Chicago and the Australian girl was like, yeah, everyone told me there, you know, that it was bad and to stay out of Chicago and I was basically like, yeah, if you go to the south side, it's bad. Um, but the rest of it's actually not too bad, you know, just stay out of that area. And I started t telling the German girl about Chicago more because she's going there like today, I think. And um, first off, I had to ask myself, why am I getting into super competitive super quick? I don't need to be doing all that, you know. America has issues, no joke. Uh, but then I started talking to this Australian girl this morning. And she started telling me about her travels in America and how in LA there's all these tents everywhere and how this homeless guy, black guy, was literally getting sunburnt on his head from being out in the sun all the time. And nobody was helping these people because over where she is, she's in Melbourne, I believe, uh, they don't have those issues. And I've been to Melbourne, actually, and they don't have those issues. I mean, they literally put people up in these high rises that's almost like the projects, but they actually put the projects in the middle of you know the nice neighborhood so everyone can be integrated you know so then there's not people going around thinking that they're better than others and so she was just really surprised at like the homeless situation in america and she was talking about how she had these perceived notions about america because everything they put on tv you know she was saying that there's all these rich people here you know especially in san francisco they're in these high rises but then there's all these poor people and she just didn't understand why these poor people were not giving money or helping out the people around them you have that much money why would you not help other people <laughs> it is absolutely crazy hearing this from a person that is not from america like she refreshed my spirit it was amazing so amazing in that way but just amazing that it takes an outsider to see the problems that are here you know, I spent, what, six or eight months in Tennessee. All the, everything starts to blur, you know, after a while. And um, Tennessee, I think, has 170,000 Christians in Chattanooga alone. There are 30 homeless people there. Why are you not helping them? Are you dumb? No, you're just a fake Christian. And that's what it is. I was telling her about the illusion that America puts on. Everything's a facade. Everything is to look like we're doing things that we are supposed to be doing, but we're not actually doing them. And so I told her, like, the proof is in the pudding. You can look a certain way, but if you're actually not really doing what you're supposed to be doing, then what is the purpose? Your city, your town, your country, your state, whatever, is going to look a mess. That's exactly how it was when I went to India, too, because people all look at India as this, like, super spiritual place, and I did, too. You know, I was going there to learn yoga and to connect with my spirituality, and I got there, and there's people dying in the streets. There's dogs dying in the streets. Uh, there's 20 kidnapped kids running up to me asking for money. You can't get a true answer out of most of the population <laughs> because there's, there's not a very strong moral foundation with a lot of the people there because they believe in so many different gods Kali, Shiva look those two up if you all know who they are um, and they believe in the caste system which basically says if you were a poor a messed up soul in your past life you didn't want to give to others or whatever the deal is this is the, the payback for that so we're not going to help you so basically they're ruining their present lives in their own logic and then they can't be surprised what happens in the next life so it's just peculiar you know this is the state of America. It's unfortunately just going to get worse because the Messiah says in the last days, people are going to be lovers of themselves. They're going to be haughty, boastful, without natural affection. They're going to hate one another, etc. And all those things are just going to lend themselves to poverty. So be aware. Stay woke out here. Be blessed. Have a good one. Bye.